ready for your punishment, slave. I sometimes scream out, no. When really, I mean, yes. Yes, yes! And this is why we have the safe word. Until we hear the safe word, we will not stop. She's not a Christian! No! Safe Word with Jason Rouse. Hey, this is Jason Rouse, and welcome to the Safe Word Podcast. Uh, I'm here in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, getting ready to start my Enemy Myself tour uh, with Yuck Yucks, which will be Mississauga, Toronto, Vaughan, Niagara Falls, which uh, I haven't been back to since they banned me. Eight years ago, <laughs> and um, uh, where else? Uh, pretty much everywhere except Quebec and Hamilton. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so go to jasonrouse.com or yuckyucks.com uh, for tickets. Uh, I'll be here till the middle of October and uh, doing a bunch of shows and some special shit here and there. Um, also, um, my guest. I got a guest. Yeah. Uh, uh, me. Yeah. Uh, please welcome to the show uh, my buddy. Dave Hudson, everybody. Hey, Jay. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm good. This good. Is... I'm in, yeah. I'm in Toronto doing shows, and you're here. Yeah. So it, I'm peachy. It worked out, as we say yeah. in Canada. Yeah. Um, it worked out. Well, let's give a little uh, backstory on how we met. Um, I guess we were just talking earlier, but, but around 1998, yeah. um, you had moved to Toronto from Kingston, Ontario. That's right. Sorry about your loss. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Uh, oh no, Gordy hasn't died yet, has he? No, he's fine. Well, he's not fine, but he's not dead. He's got months to live. Gordy, yeah, uh, Go- Kingston's golden boy. Yeah, well, Gord, well, Gord Downey. How would you explain uh, tragically hip to a? Because they were very Canadian. Yeah, appearance on Saturday Night Live, which Dan That's Aykroyd right. introduced from we, Kingston. another Kingston fella. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you see him at the movies. I've got a, I got a audio, crazy bastard. I got an audio. A recording of him from the Phil Hartman Awards at the Sanderson Center. Is that right? 2001. I made my girlfriend stand beside him because he introduced me. Yeah. Wow. And I go, nice. you stand beside him and record, and I want to hear if he laughs. And he laughed all through it. And then I got the Saturday Night Live auditions off the back of that. I didn't win right. the award, but no. Dan Ackroyd gave me the best That's- uh, endorsement. So I am always uh, have a, a warm, safe place with my whole Oh, yeah, yeah. Kingston. Danny Ackroyd is my... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's my... Sp- Fucking He's animal. rock and roll, and he makes skull vodka. That's right. Which, if I drank, I would probably drink it. I heard it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, yeah. I'd love to get uh, he's, skull vodka. It's crazy. Is a uh, sponsor. I do have a sponsor. I should probably uh, say. yeah. Do your real sponsor. I got a, uh, a sponsor, a uh, Headblade. So uh, this uh, company I reached out to a few weeks ago were kind enough to send me a bunch of product, nice. and it's uh, it's like a a, a handy uh, little. Uh, uh, thingamajig for shaving your bald head oh i see and it's I, it's more of a turd polisher <laughs> at anything. this point yeah. yeah it's designed for shaving your skull i could use that yeah it's pretty, pretty cool bald too like you so go to uh, headblade.com and uh, buy some headblades i you, will it's good for pussies if they're shaped like a hunchback well if my <laughs> mine is so you get a hunchback get, pussy can i get a two-pack one for the head and one for the old box <laughs> <laughs> the old box i just picture well, like a young box there's old toys in it a rubik's cube <laughs> <laughs> Some Hot Wheels car and pubic hair. You got an action figure up there, <laughs> Ninja Turtle. Dear, uh, so you, you're at Kingston. <laughs> what are we doing? Musical theater? Kingston, bo- playing no. The spoons well, downtown? maybe. Yeah, kids shows mostly. That's like because of my adorable face. And anybody listening to this, they're like, would <laughs> never see the there's, stuff that I do. There's a woman's prison in Kingston. Well, there was. I used to push my dick through the fence and make all those bitches go crazy. <laughs> well, that's why they had to close it down. <laughs> I walked past there and they were too heartbroken that they couldn't have me, so they closed it down. I got locked off in that fence. <laughs> I used to bang it so hard. <laughs> so you, you you're in Kingston, you're what, out of high school? I just went to the Kingston pre- uh, Pen. I just went to the tour. They closed down Kingston Pen, the oldest prison, and they were giving tours. Mm-hmm. So you got to go through it. It's crazy in there, man. You see all the graffiti from your grandparents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It was nice. It was heartwarming. Did you... Uh, were you like... What, I don't know what it was for me. I, I left Hamilton and moved to the other end of the country just to change. Just for something different. Now, you went, where'd you go? Vancouver? I moved to Vancouver yeah. in 93. Right. 
and uh, started doing comedy in '96. I think June June of '96, I did my first show. And when did you come back to Toronto? Right around '98. Yeah, I think I my my girlfriend and I had split up, and I was doing comedy, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. But then I started to look around for opportunities, and at that time, there was uh, Yuck Yucks, Laugh Lines, and maybe an open mic here and there. Right. It Not was, yeah, nothing. And then I started going online, looking at leaning towards Yuck Yucks as far as, you know, a place to perform and noticed that the majority of the clubs were all within a six hour drive. Right. And less. Like it was, uh, most of the clubs were in Ontario. So I knew that I could get that stage time that I needed. Which you did all the time. You remember you busting in from Hamilton. Yeah. Twice, three times a week. You you stayed at my place a couple of times That's right. Yeah. That's right. I had a nice place. We, the uh, neighborhood. But when I was, yeah, I moved up in 98 from Kingston. So I'd always wanted to do stand-up. Like I did, I got a joke book in grade three and stood up in front of the class and did stand-up. Yeah, but you, you in general, uh, from my observation, you were just into comedy. Yeah, yeah. I in just all love, facets that's of right. film, TV. Yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, exactly. I just love it all, right? Uh-huh. So it was always something I wanted to do. So it was always, that's why I, every, I could get my hands on it. All comedy, right? Yeah. All the time as a kid, right? And my dad was great because he would go and like he would rent me like Best of Saturday Night Live, and then he would tape like the old Eddie Murphy, Billy Crystal ones, mm-hmm. so I could watch them Sunday mornings and yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? When I was like, you know, nine and ten, and that, stuff. that you're kind of a weirdo. Yeah, of course. At yeah. that age, and I watched old into... movies and yeah. old, you know what I mean? Classic like Laurel and Hardy and mm-hmm. Marx Brothers and stuff like anything I get my hands on. Yeah, yeah, Stooges, Little Rascals, all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just loved it. I just love seeing. The stuff that holds up, you know what I mean? These mm-hmm. things, these timeless things that are like still funny, which is crazy. Some of these things are 80, 90 years old now. Yeah. Yeah. Just I don't know. Everybody stooges, gets it. Chapel. Even my kids like it because they show my kids in thinking, like, yeah, you know, they probably they don't have to like it. I'm There's not no one of these CGI guys. involved. They're like, you have to love these things because yeah. they're, you know, whatever. But then they put it on and they, they like it. Like they really enjoy it. And you're like, that's, that's three nice. kids. Yeah, three boys. So you come to Toronto. Crazy. Yeah, this we is we end up going to uh, doing well, the summer program. Well, you're the first. Well, you're the first amateur. I I, I came to an amateur because I, you know, I wanted to do it, but I, before I signed up, I went to check out the amateur night. Right, I go see one, and you were up that night, and I remember just like fucking blew my mind. I was just like, <laughs> who is this fucking lunatic? <laughs> Jesus. You know, like it was just, and I, I mean, I was crying like I was in pain. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe Joss was there, Ron Jossel and, and uh, Gavin, Gavin Stevens. Gavin, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Martin. Yeah, there was like about a dozen of so us many. that kind of came up through that class. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it was amazing, right? Steve Patterson. And mm-hmm. So I saw you and I was just like, what? What what am I getting into? Who are these fucking maniacs on stage? I found something for the first time in my life that it, it actually had some sort of traction. Yeah. You know what I mean? People Everything were I, into it. Yeah, it was like, oh, okay, these people don't know me and I'm making an impression. You and sure I was, were. I was, I was trying to make impressions. Well, you did. <laughs> I was just like a condom up my nose. That'll make an impression. Oh, I was because uh, I was bringing house party tricks to the comedy thing. Of course, pulling from my kind of skill set, but it, it's evolved. To yeah. More condoms, but I pull them <laughs> through my entire ingestive tract. Right, right. It's between the asshole and the mouth. Over the course of six months, it's a oh, long show. Nice. <laughs> it's a long show. I'll see you in three weeks, everybody. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, Tie that to a tow truck and floor it. <laughs> I want to smell burnt rubber when this thing snaps out. And I want a fucking giraffe on the end of it. Uh, so you come in, <laughs> you get, yeah, you get, uh, you high school, you moved to Toronto, 98. Yeah, yeah, I came up, I stuck around Kingston for a bit because my wife was still going to Queens. Uh, I came up, and then a couple years later, she came up. We were in Toronto for a few years, and then, and then back we went. But at that point, I was in, I was with Yucks. Like I got, I got an amateur night, and then I started, and then they started booking me. And yeah, then, you, you were just, just like a, a nice, funny guy. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have any kind of uh, the impression I got from you. Never had any kind of, kind of. You were very much is what you see is what you get. Yeah, no agenda or, or no, no, no. I was just, just a, there to have like, fun. And, we're doing comedy. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's, whatever. Which was probably like I probably should have been a bit more. Pushed a bit more and done other thing, but I was having fun, man. I was just enjoying it. Yeah, you know, and 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 meeting other people who were into comedy the way that I was was great, right? Because yeah. people and like you say, people you'd never meet, like you, you and I would never meet in any other fucking context. Gene Wilder, you know what I mean? We're not going to show up at a concert together. Wait, well, Jay, you're at the Huey Lewis concert. What's going on, man? <laughs> we're, yeah. we're not going to meet. And uh, so I do love that aspect of the the comedy that it it has such a was it land the broken toys 
kind of you get pe- yeah. social circles of people that you'd never interact that's with. That's right. All this all these people from all over the country and all different freaks. Yeah. But all wanting to make people laugh. Totally. Broken. Yeah, it was the best. The so misfit you, toys. You come to Toronto, start doing open mics. Well, yeah. open mics, refresh my memory. Well, there was Einstein's. Oh, fuck. The worst open mic. It's still going. It's still going. I heard that. Are you here Sunday? Well, I got a show Sunday, yeah. Let's go to Einstein's after Uh, your show. I'd rather rather jump in an open sewage. (laughs) (laughs) You want to do it? Yeah, no, no. I got another thing. I got a 640 train the next morning, though. I got something. We'll talk off mic about something. We'll do something fun for Sunday. I got something up up your alley. You'll love it. We're going to. You ever see Fight Club? Well, yeah. Think of that, but more anal. Oh. Well, that sounds nice. I like your new fucking raccoon hat. Oh, it's my cat. It's my cat friend just showed up. So you, this place is you show and up. Pussy. <laughs> you show up in Toronto <laughs> by kayak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a diaper and a plaid shirt, and uh, I lived right down here. Actually, I was out, out by Exhibition Stadium. Uh-huh. This, this shithole apartment. It was great. Oh, look at you. I'm getting a log massage from this house cat. House, house cat? They're all over you. I think that's a house. It might be a raccoon. Uh, I just pushed the lump in my testicle <laughs> to the bottom. The cat's just mis- kneading my belly like dough, like trying to help me have a shit. Look like, at this. Does this cat live here or did it just show up? No, there's a door. Just a bunch of hobo climbed in the back. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, welcome, kitty. Welcome to the podcast. Look at this shit. Anyway, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> No so professionalism. Cheap. There's animals. It's like a goddamn yeah, zoo. There's in a there. dog asleep on you. So you get to uh, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I see you, and I think I got to move home. I yeah. want my mom. So you come here. We we get like all the open mics. Yeah. What was what was kind of the usual? Kenny, were you? For, yeah. You oh were God, Kenny. Kenny. That was the. I was scared to go down. Yeah. It's it like, was. Hey, here's People the show. The stairs. Thursday at midnight at Sherburn and Bloor. Take a knife. In a basement. Yeah. And it was Nubian's Disciples of Prior. And I was like, am I even allowed to go? Yeah. I'm the whitest kid in the country. Yeah, I can't yeah, go yeah. there. It was a long walk down and those stairs down. into that yeah. pub. Because yeah. you, you were committed. One guy. Yeah, you had to go in. And there was a piece of paper on the pool table. And as soon as you... Just, you, that was the order. Yeah. Who signed blue, up. Blue eyes would slap you across the face. Yeah. Uh, Vaudry come in and win the money. <laughs> go I home. needed that money. Of course. Did, we I all need, needed that money. I needed that money to get back. I, you couldn't, yeah, you couldn't take the loser mover home if you didn't get your... I had to have it set strong enough that I would get enough money to bus fare to get back to Hamilton to stay on my mother's couch. Yeah, exactly. And happy to have it. But that was... Uh, it was a pretty wild... Kenny Robinson... Uh, for I think the room went for three, years. four, you yeah. five years or something. I won. I won part of the money once, and it's still. I don't think it'll ever be an award that beats that. If I ever yeah. won an award, because it was for very, what I do. It was there was no politics or anything. It no. was it was it, what you see is what you get, and you get like maybe twenty or fifty dollars. He had seventy five bucks. Seventy five bucks, and he sometimes it'd be. Hear my voice go. You got seventy five bucks, then? Yeah. See, this is in the nineties. Yeah. 75 bucks, and he would split it up, though. Sometimes he'd be like 50, 25 or whatever. And, uh, yeah. So that's, it was amazing, right? Because it was, it was, but what a walk of fire. And, then, of course, Kenny and the old school guys were all sitting in the back, right? And they were just, and we're all over by the pool table, <laughs> shitting our pants before we go up. And remember yeah. the one guy there? Remember Chewbacca? He was in the crowd. He didn't speak. He'd just go... Oh, the handicapped guy. Yeah, and you were like... You didn't know if he was fucking with us or if he was just like... Because sometimes he'd be super quiet. Yeah. And then sometimes you'd hear him, I guess, laughing. I don't know what he was doing, but he'd... Yeah, he'd all palsied out on us. Yeah, he was all... Yeah. I thought he was hammered for the first two months. (laughs) Probably was. was. Get this alcoholic out of here. Didn't he drink beer from a straw or something? Didn't he have a... He did. Yeah, they put the straw. asshole. (laughs) That was the closer. Put on Fleetwood Mac and was, he, I blew coke <laughs> up his ass while he pissed into a bucket. <laughs> but the room was, was very, uh, it was very scary. trial by fire. It was great. I learned so yeah. much about comedy, and uh, of course, uh, there was a lot of truth there. Dan Dunn showing up after his heroin addiction. I was there uh, when he OD. when he was there. I was there that night. Fuck! Out of all the times that I didn't go, I was I there. Heard, yeah, it was, it was legend. It was crazy. He walks in. Dan Dunn. He's still, yeah, go ahead. Dan Dunn is a, a local comic here. Well, I don't know what he's now. Uh, who knows, man? Yeah. He lives in a graveyard now. He just hides out. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Dan he lives Dunn. in a tree. Can you imagine walking through a graveyard 
Yeah. It's running in the Dan Dunn and him going, you got a light, and then setting himself on fire. Well, it's like, t- if for people who don't know Dan Dunn, and you wouldn't. He's Think like, of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah, but midget. Midget Hacksaw, but Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And then like, and John Belushi had a kid. Yes. And he got Dan Dunn. And smoked crack. And smoked crack. And it his mom awesome. smoked crack while he was in the womb. Oh, God. And he smoked crack the in the womb. The womb was a crack then. That's right. He was, it, was a, <laughs> it had graffiti in it. Yeah, man. So Dan was hilarious. Very yeah, explosive. but he was crazy. He was, he was out of his mind. And so he shows up, and he's still got his his hospital bracelet on. From his OD. Yeah, like he's literally come from the hospital to the show. And he comes in, and he, and he, and he gets up on stage, and he's like, you know, man, it, it, sirens, you hear sirens all the time in the city, but they sure sound a lot different when you're in the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> and he killed. Like, he killed. Yeah. Like, he almost wanted to cry. Like, it was this, like, it was heartwarming, and yeah. it was funny. And then he runs off stage, and everybody's cheering. You know, we're all, yeah, Dan Dunn. And he comes off stage, and Ron jostles there, and he's like, oh, that was amazing. And he goes, what did I say? Yeah. What I say, man? And we never just recorded like, any. He had no. these moments of genius. Yeah, yeah, but and they were gone to the wind. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was. I still have video. I have videotape of us there at the groundhog. Yeah, I used to remember. I walked around. Of that course, video all, the all the time. time. Yeah, I had a little video camera. I walked around and filmed oh all my God. sets. And uh, there's a box with about 150 high eight videotapes. Well, I guess so. All eh? that stuff. Yeah, you recorded everything. Yeah. I have. I've learned a lot by watching myself. I was very much a visual learner, so I, I really yeah, yeah. just go over it and. Well, it's that way you had a record of all your stuff, right? Totally, and it, it was it was a uh, it was a very good way for me to develop as as a performer too. Of course. Beautiful. So the Groundhog Pub, we go up to Yuck Yucks and Young and Eglinton. You yeah, sign Monday up for nights. the amateur night. Do we yeah. have to phone in for that? Yeah, yeah, you had to phone in every week, and then they they tell you the list that that three o'clock you'd call in and the list would be there. And I remember that day, so you'd shit your pants right, waiting all day. <sighs> And then you'd be like, you'd get on. You'd you go, oh, God. Noon. You had to call oh, Yeah, and then oh, stress. Oh, on. Yeah. Or, and then you didn't get on. Oh, oh fuck, fuck. I didn't get on. Yeah. Ah. Or, and the worst part is, and I could hear it, because, uh, you know, Mark and I uh, became friends. Yeah. And uh, I was also very ambitious and uh, 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 under the umbrella of Yuck Yucks. So I was uh, on a lot. Yeah. And... Um, I could hear the echoes of other people hearing my voice being called every week for the list and them going, fuck this guy. Yeah, why is he on for a fucking week? <laughs> yeah. But it was good because it didn't take me long. About six, those- six months I had regular Mondays. Yeah, you moved because you were very diplomatic. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of nervous energy about you. you, you no. Because you had a broader... Well, it was fun. And people... They, they, People like me. Let's be serious. You know what I mean? I'm fucking delight. <laughs> I remember around the first time I saw you, you go, I could kill my whole family, but look at these cheeks. They'd never throw me in jail. I'm fucking, no. He goes, but you, yeah. they'd shoot you through the window <laughs> for waving to them. Is that what I said? Yeah. It's true. But it's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. You'd no, never yeah. go to jail for murder. Never. No, never. <laughs> no, they wouldn't believe it. They're just like, oh, you're too cute. Look at those cheeks. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go lay down. Put him on a blanket on him. Get He's that fine. guy an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. an umbrella for his hair. Basically. So. Oh, my hair. Where were we? I don't know. We were doing open mics. Yeah. We were cruising around, driving in the back of Russell Peters' car. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. I remember getting in the back one time. It was, Ron wasn't there, so I got in the back. And <laughs> I go, hi. Uh, and he goes, hey, how are you? And I go, good. I'm uh, Dave Hudson. I'll be playing the part of Ron Jostle this evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then he'd, he'd pull over in convenience stores, and he'd run in, and he'd come out, and he'd be like, they don't have any over 40 magazine. And then we'd drive on <laughs> the porn yeah. mag. And I was like, is he for real? Is he just fucking with us? But yeah. you never knew, right? No, it's true. He just played it really like... He just wanted to see what you were doing, right? It's, he didn't want to see how you react to it. No. No. It, it was legit. Yeah, it's of course. Legit. It's a legit thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I remember going over to Guardhouse's place. Yeah. And they had over 60 magazine oh, over there. And they would like always my stag be, party. It would oh. be open at the... Uh, <laughs> That's the first time I ever saw you puke. Is that your stag yeah, party? Yeah, my stag party. Someone put in old wave hookers and you had to run out of the room. That's right. <laughs> that is true, isn't it? Yeah, you were... Hey. <laughs> old wave hookers. What was the plot line? Oh, grandma came in and dressed as a hooker. It was shot in a hooker. geriatric. Oh, and she started... No, I don't even want to talk old about it. Old wave hookers. Uh, I won't eat for a week. And that's 15 years ago. 
Oh yeah, that that broad's in her nineties now. Yeah, I don't like old fucking. No, it's like chicken skin and broom handles oh, it banging was bad. again. Yeah, it was bad, and they made us watch the whole thing because nothing makes a baby anymore. That's right. So there's no love. It's just a dump. <laughs> it's just dump on me, dump yeah. on you. Oh. Uh, you got to. There's got to be the element of almost a baby. It makes you feel alive, but then you cut it off with the abortion. Right, of course. Thank That's you. That's nice. Thank you. Wait a minute. <laughs> we did why do, I have, mics. why do I have three kids? Then you you got promoted. Then I went nowhere. And then it was all downhill, baby. <laughs> what year was that? Like <laughs> when I get promoted? Late 90s. 90, yeah, 99. Like within like a year, yeah. I got promoted up and they were sending me off. You know, I remember going with Winston Spear and Orson Payne going up to, yeah. I was doing my first book Aurelia? with Roy Day. Yeah. Uh-huh. In the Ring Kitchener, right when the smoking band was coming in. I remember the smoking band had just come in. We were the last of the Smoky Nightclub fucking comics. Right yeah. in the front row, remember? Jesus. There was smoking in comedy clubs. Yeah, and they, the front, the first four front row. Like, I think what? I, mean, I think because it's a theatrical thing that we right. can smoke on stage. Yeah, that's Ch- right. Chappelle yeah. does it all the time. It, yeah, you, it, it's part of the show. Yeah, you can say, oh, I can do this. Is that going to fly here? No, well, Fuck so. it. I think I'm going to do it Try this weekend. Try to smoke on stage? No, they'll shoot you. It's fuck. Toronto, man. Where do you think you are? Yeah, but what am I going to do? Go, go, go to they, Montreal if you want to smoke me? on stage. Yeah, they probably would. Do I have to make fun of a retarded guy? You can. Have you followed that? Oh, yeah, of course. Mike Ward? Yeah. Yeah, it's bullshit. Do you want to explain? Okay, so Mike Ward does a joke. Well, it was nice. So Jess Solomon, you know Jess Solomon? He's a French-Canadian comic. She, yeah, and she, did, she wrote a whole article on it. She used to be a lawyer, so she wrote this whole article on it, which I thought was the best one because... I wouldn't pay it. I'd go to jail. No. That's right. Yeah, I go to of jail. course you I would, would not pay it. But see, Mike Ward's got a ton of. Like you said, he goes. He goes totally, I, he, and he, it's all been good advertising for him. He's he's a, yeah yeah totally. I never heard of him no, until who heard of Mike Ward? Yeah. No, I didn't know. Yeah. So yeah, and I mean the the irony of the, the bit. Yeah, why too. can't people? No one fucking attacks me. <laughs> yeah, you say shit. I'm a goddamn hate crime motherfucker. <laughs> I can't even get. You know how many hate mails I've had? A lot. Three. Uh, what? That's it. I don't know what you're doing. It's because they're, they're attacking. Listen, come I, after me, motherfuckers. Listen, I've I'll seen, burn down your goddamn <laughs> house with a bag of kittens in my mouth. <laughs> You'll never get fined. I'll never get fined. No, I've oh, seen no, you yeah. try to take also a dump the on the side of the road, and then people just laugh, right? Yeah, you know that's the problem. Everybody else will get arrested. I but tried, seriously, you talk about me getting away with shit. Yeah, I, you get away with murder. Because they don't. It's like. It's like seeing a homeless guy piss against the yeah. wall. You're not going to go, hey, man, you no. can't do that there. Yeah, that's right. You that's just, what I'm a equivalent. My gonna career keep is the equivalent of a drifter. <laughs> Pissing on a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that puts it up. Hey, a- he's got a Gemini Award under his arm. And <laughs> a fucking Yuck Yucks t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look yeah, at him go. you're way worse than Mike Ward. Yeah. But you know why? Because it's, it's, it's not Quebec. specific. Oh, it's Quebec, too. It's a very different ball game there. Like they have a star system, and they have, they know each other, right? They don't, they don't watch American Small TV. Small community. Yeah, they don't watch American TV translated French. Yeah. They watch Quebec-made TV. Yeah, and Quebec singers and Quebec movies. Like they don't, you he know what I mean? Arts. Yeah. So, so a- Mike Ward, he's a big deal there, right? Like yeah. everybody knows him, but he's dark. I mean, it's a whole. It was a dark show. Oh, like, was the, it? A it was a dark show at JFL, man. And so, and every like I say, are you going to find everybody who laughed that night in the crowd? I'm going to write joke? a joke. I'm going to write a joke about th- this guy in the wheelchair. I don't even give a fuck about him yeah. and his politics or even who he is, but I'm coming after him. I'm going to make a joke about Mike Ward <laughs> fucking Rocky Dennis in that fucking high chair piece of shit. <laughs> and I'm going to push on Mike Ward's ass so he can finish. Because I know Mike is a classy guy. Yeah. would never subject himself to a hate fuck. No, but then What's they'll, the guy in the they'll find him name? again. Who? The guy who find Mike. Who, Petit Jeremy? Is that his name? Well, that's what they call him, which is Petit how condescending is that? Little Jeremy? Little Jeremy. Wasn't it an animated Canadian series? Yeah, it was a bear. I have a bear called that's Jeremy. Right. He was murdered Ooh. in a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> he was murdered. I heard he survived. Did he, did he die? He lost an eye, but oh. they, got, they got another button for him down at the fucking pawn shop. What a piece of shit. Fuck Petit. What's his name? Petit Jeremy. God, fuck you, yeah, Petit. fuck you, Jeremy. I'll grab well, him. he didn't sue. It was his mom. She, oh, she cried, and then she sued him. Fuck. You, you know what? Joke. This is another reason to hate people in wheelchairs. Well, 
<laughs> no comment. I, love, I, love, I know my friends that have families because they're like, yeah, I'm going to bow out on that one, yeah, Jay. Yeah, I'm going to walk away from I got, that one. I don't need my neighborhood spitting off no. me when I cross the street. I don't need to get sued. I got a house. Isn't all that, right? It's so, you know, I, I think a well, lot of, of politics have come back with the fashion. So these these 1930s mustaches yeah. and the Lenny Bruce thing, you know, it, it's kind of like they're villainizing the the the, yeah. the humorists well, and yeah. uh, as as like a problem. Well, Leave us alone. Well, even the crowds, even the crowds. You are, fucks! <laughs> we're just trying, ah! we're just trying to make people laugh. This if they take this away from me, I go back to the Plan A. Yeah, um, serial killer. Well, that's the problem. That's what they don't get. Stop. Leave us yeah. alone. Leave us alone. It's going to be a lot worse. Do you want to punish comics so we can have fucking jobs? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. You want me? You want me in a public servant situation? No. I could be a cop. Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you can't. I'd make. The, the, <laughs> I'd make bad lieutenant look like a fucking self help video. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Pixar movie. Oh Ooh. yeah. That was hot. Ooh, yeah. That was so, good. You all right? So fuck yeah. everybody. Yeah, basically, fuck them all. So yeah. you get to Toronto, and what happens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but your career, you because I think around early 2000, I started making my trips to Europe. Yep. You were, you were nesting. Yes, I was back in Kingston. Because you were married to your high school sweetheart. That's right. Yeah, we've been together 25 years. Happily. Yeah. 25 years. Well, you can three, ask my wife. We'll three see how boys. happy she is. Yeah, three boys. And you, you've got, like, you realistically, let's say, a little better than the average Canadian guy. Oh, you know, absolutely. Like, like, kind of a Canadian dream, barbecue on the weekends. Absolutely. Today. Yeah. Yeah. But you have your all. foot in both. The, yeah, you, and there's enough weirdos are coming through Kingston comics. That's and, exactly yeah. right. Thank goodness there's a club there. Or yeah, be bad. You wouldn't even be on the radar, and you just—that's it. I'd just be out in the boons. Well, who's some of your favorite guys to watch in the city of Kingston? Like who come around and through? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's so many guys. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't see Frosty much anymore, which is too bad, Darren Frost. But yeah, uh, I think maybe the last weekend I was there was when uh, with, with Frost because he was still doing Time to Laugh and stuff before mm-hmm. it closed down. But it's not. I mean, you know, Mike Damber comes through town. Yeah. And he's great. I'm he's always Mike killing. Ages. Yeah, I mean, he does like three minutes of material, and he just does crowd work. Uh-huh. And he destroys, right? It destroys. It's great. But um, yeah, you know, I just—it's great because there's so many people coming through that are just that I know, you know, like from back, back in the day. day yeah, sure, exactly. So they're just coming through and hang out. It's just nice because it's a place to go, you know, once a week and just hang out. And I'll do some time, and it's great. It's fun. But I've been doing other things. Like I did this, you know, Tony Todd from the Candyman, the black guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the actor Tony Todd. He, yeah, he was uh, just like comic cons and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and I got to do um, for, with Fangoria. I got to do a um, did you a get Dracula spotted audio at the show? I heard you got a, a, a part in a film from be performing at I, the club. I did. This was back in the old time to laugh. I did this. It was, it was an unreleased movie. It never came out. Um, it was pretty bad, but it was great. This guy, he was a doctor, and he saw me on stage, and he and he wanted me to. Oh, hey, oh, easy, Cujo. Don't worry. Uh, he took a poop. And uh, uh um yeah, so I did this crazy movie. I got to go to Jamaica. I got to go like up north. We went up to like Iroquois Falls, like eight hours north of Toronto. It was ridiculous. Like he easily could have filmed this way easier, but he didn't. And uh but yeah, I got paid and I traveled around. It was great. I just moved back to Kingston, it was so weird. And I got cast. How many out. years were you in Toronto? Mm, four years. Four Only years. four years, yeah. Yeah, I moved back in two thousand one. In the in the spring of two thousand one, yeah. And you come back like to Toronto do gigs once in a yeah yeah absolutely times a year or something like that. Yeah yeah, I travel around. I still do gigs. I still travel around. And then Ryan now now mostly I work a lot with uh, Ryan Denis. I don't know you wouldn't know Ryan. He started in comedy after you, but he's in Kingston. He's he's based out of Kingston, and uh, uh, half, uh, he's uh, on Phil- fire. He's Filipino working right kid. now with uh, McGlunnup. Yeah, he's managing Absolute. He's still doing stand up. That's right. I yeah, saw I him brought that. We were talking about that because I brought yeah. him down to see. You saw you that night, That's and you right. blew his mind. Yeah, it was he's freaking out. It was my little brother Ben, and he had two buddies, Ryan, one of them, uh-huh. and I brought him up. And he was always into comedy and stuff, but he was he's always blames me like oh, I saw comedy that night and I had to get into it. I'm like, don't blame me for yeah, your, your terrible life decisions. Okay, <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh yeah, I was. I put him in Breslin's booth and everything. It was great. Yeah, they had a blast. 
Fantastic. Yeah, like 16, they lost their minds. You showed up, Jesus. Well, it was like a, a, a Hollywood monster coming to Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the owners, the um, uh, Tracy and um, thing, they, they were like fans. So that always helped that they allowed me. I did every, whatever I wanted. Of course. It was, it was like they were they, fine they with it. They egged me on to do, are you going to yeah. get me? Yeah. And it was so uh, weird. He'd come over and goes, how are you going to get your dick out today? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah. We're in the hallway in the bathroom. It. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Oh, I'm the owner. You do what I say. Yeah, like, pull it out. We want to yeah. see if it's show yeah, ready. I paid or not. for this. And yeah. I own you. It's Saturday. Now get up there. You have weird conversations in this business where you're like, is. You really you, do. You got to get your cock out. Yeah, like when we did our Tom Green show and I had to put on a too small lingerie over a pair of vice oh, grips yeah. hanging from your cock. Yeah, so. And I'm just like, what am I doing? That was a legendary show. Yeah. An ambulance come. That's right. A it was so out. it was so packed. They were so over capacity that night that yeah. like it would have been like a rock star fire death. Yeah, if that place had gone. It was a and he was idea. using a chainsaw on stage, a gas chainsaw on yeah. stage, and he was just chainsawing up the Rivoli's furniture, just yeah, 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 yeah. and pouring milk on himself and cat litter. And the the the, uh, the barber shop <laughs> hair was everywhere, and those fire <laughs> baskets, milk, the whole place. So yeah, the room whole held maybe about. 180, and yeah. there was about 270 people in there. Yeah. It's yeah. the first time I've ever seen a lineup down the street. Right, place. And, and I remember being at the back door, and someone pounded on the back door, and we opened it up, and there was these, you know, three teenagers, and they're like, please let us in. And I was like, there's phys- literally, physically We're in no... the green room, shoulder yeah, to shoulder. Yeah, could, you couldn't even go to the bar. Like, yeah. it was a wall of people. And then we went on stage and fucking blew their minds. Yeah, it was insane. Wrecked them, yeah. Tom Green had just got his MTV deal. Well, it was that week. We did the show right before he got it. Mm-hmm. That week, like it, within days, he got his MTV deal and, and blew up. Yeah. Huge, you yeah. know what I mean? But he was just... Well, I mean, he was st- he was huge at that point here, right? Like, his show was huge. His star was getting ready fan- to yeah. project... And you could just feel it that night. Like, everybody there was yeah, just... Yeah, it was like, exciting. It was exciting. It was like comedy in the in the 80s. Like, there was a lineup. People were fucking yeah. there to party. Super jazz for it. Yeah. Yeah, it was very exciting. And we and kids, it though. It was all kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? High school yeah. kids. Yeah, they, they were crazy for them. And it was so packed. People couldn't move. There were people sitting on the floor. There's... I... Me, we... Dave and I, I th- pitched a, a loose idea, and you wrote out a, a rough sketch about a prostitute with a, a it was g- jizz reaction. Allergic uh, to sperm. Yeah, allergic to sperm in this kind <laughs> of Twilight horrible. Zone monologue. Yeah, and you come walking out as the hooker. Yeah, and I had makeup smeared, yeah. uh, a woman's slip on with vice grips hanging off my cock. Yeah, and the slip was literally like three times too small it was too, for you. You had to pull it over me like a yeah, sausage uh, casing. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was like putting it, yeah. I looked in the mirror when you're doing this. I'm like, I could have been a doctor Yeah, if I could read. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well think about me, I actually can read, and I was pulling oh, it on you. The, the milk jug was, was a like, vegetable still beef soup. My dream. <laughs> Remember oh. the vegetable beef soup? Yeah, and I poured three cans right. of cold. Was it ve- three? Three cans of vegetable beef soup, and I pounded it with. Maybe it- Campbell's can sponsor you next. Ipecac. Uh, and then remember, it, we had to go to we went to the pharmacy to get it. Yeah, and they didn't want to give it to us. That's right. They were like, "You're gonna do it's a sex thing, isn't it?" And we're like, "Just <laughs> well, give it to us." Yeah. And he's like, "Did your did your doctor? Yeah, our doctor said we just give it to us, so, right?" It's for vice grip. It's art. <laughs> it's get for it, art. You get s- off of me. You just you square. <laughs> give us. <some> money. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then, yeah, and you're, How just, much are these and you're backstage, readers? and that was the grossest part. You just uh, you just taking big mouthfuls of, of of raw cold. sewage. Yeah, I told. And them. people are going, "What is he doing?" I'm like, the "You don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. What are you guys gonna do up there?" I look like, uh, a, I look like a beer stein full yeah. of diarrhea. You're like, what are you doing here, Dave? I'm like, I don't know. I needed fuel. I go, I really miss my girlfriend. <laughs> I want to go home. Yeah. Jay's scaring me. Yeah, she just she had to hold me for a week in the shower. I I've just had come and check l- on me. I've roped people in, in various situations, and it all starts off. And then when they're in it, they look at me going, I got to get out of here. Yeah, like, what did I do? <laughs> Why am I doing this? But no, it was the best night of my life. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Girl- yeah, I was in like a suit. Like, I was in a full suit. Yeah. And the girl, I remember watching the video, and a girl got up to run. Right. And she crossed the front of the stage and slipped in some puke and knocked herself out. And the ambulance came. And the ambulance, there was like heat stroke. Yeah, and they had to like crowd surf her over yes. the people 
to the ambulance. Yeah, they had to Because you couldn't it. even walk through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just passing her <laughs> hand over. Funny. She's like, Woo. she's supposed to be rushing the hand over. They it's think like, she's this crowds is her pretty her. rock and roll. Woo. She's yeah. just floating over. Keep her neck straight. Yeah, passed out with a Triumph uh. shirt on and a cigarette burn on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Turn her over. She's throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Put her in the recovery uh. decision. <laughs> so they oh. caught her away. And then, yeah, so around 2001, then I, yeah, I started going to Europe. <laughs> and yeah. then, yeah, I, I left. I yeah. had to get out. And then... Uh, yeah, yeah, you had to go. But you're back here. You're doing shows. We should tell us. I'm going to post this... Uh, when? Today. Okay, well, then I'm doing uh, tonight. I'm all week. I'm in Absolute. I'm hosting. I'm just hosting. I'm hosting for Pierre, uh, Pierre Bro. And uh, it's fun. It's a fun show. It's a fun show. It, coincidentally, in the old Yuck Yucks. Yeah, Young which is crazy Netflix. to be back as I'm doing a full circle thing because I started out in that club when it was Yucks, and now it's an absolute. I was which there, is so weird. I went to the in there the first time about three and a half months ago. It's weird, eh? It is weird. But they've they done a great job yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 it's a great setup. They they but, really managed this. But it's hard well. to imagine what it used to be. No, like I had that. to stand in the room and close my eyes. Yeah. and go. Oh, that's where the green room yeah. was. This is and here's all, all the, the chairs little... behind the poles that you couldn't see any of the show yeah. from and. The office, and that, then that, that uh, 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 patio ceiling that they had that wood. oh that drop oh yeah, yeah the yeah, wood, wood yeah lattice or whatever it was oh, it was horrible it was fun but that club was electric I really do miss it <laughs> that club was amazing yeah it was yeah. so much fun it was packed well like you say it was just there was such a it was it was a good time the late nineties was really good in the city for. So many open mics, so many people doing really good stuff, mm-hmm. and I remember people coming from out of town. And coming here and being like, oh, you know, my act's really great. And then having a real hard time oh, yeah. following Toronto folk. And yeah, it was, the- people were doing some great stuff. I mean, Nikki Payne, mm-hmm. that was the other one. We started together. And right from day one, Nikki was amazing, right? Yeah. Like, she did no fear. She'd do the craziest shit on stage. Nothing to lose. And then they just, yeah, and they That's loved why I her. Came I mean, in so when you're hot. from a trailer park in Anakin Nish, it's only up. You know, <laughs> like, you're not yeah. going down again. You got to go up. And so she, but literally walking off the bus. In Toronto. You know where you are? <laughs> You're in the jungle, baby. <laughs> You're going to do Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I did die in Peterborough. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm skinnier than Axel crabs. Rose now. That's pretty good. I got crabs from the dishwasher in Peterborough. <laughs> it was just some hobo washing hubcaps behind the club, and I fucked his mouth. I didn't know you get pubic lice from a man's beard. <laughs> Ew. Well, you can. Okay. So, <laughs> now, at least they're learning stuff on this show. Speaking they're like, someone's that. home writing it now. Lice in hobo's beard. beard. Yeah. Avoid. X. Yeah. Underline, underline. How do you get my highlighter? We, underline, underline. We've lived very different lives over the last 10 years. A little bit. I never wear sandals. I wear sandals pretty much all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I wear I wear Costco shorts mostly. You should just have like if you want your kids to act, excel in life academically. Right. You know, it's uh, never uh, gonna happen. No, they, no, no, no. they all took after you, me. You you have them. <laughs> you set them all all the boys up on a chair. Yeah. You give them refreshments. <laughs> right. And some popcorn, and then they have to do an hour of FaceTime with me. Oh. And then they go off and become physicians. Right, because then they'll say, here's what happens. Yeah, they'll see me hate fucking some girl's asshole in Norway <laughs> and do ass to mouth. So she's got so much shit around her mouth. It looks like she's eating chocolate bars around <laughs> without her hands. And they go, now you're all going to be heart surgeons, right? <laughs> no, because the problem is then they'll, they'll get into it. You think they'll yeah, get into they'll it. they'll be like, that's, oh, I could never consider that possibility before. Who's this guy again? I'm like, fuck, and then I'll have to. Mud whiskers. They're yeah, following me I'll have to trap Instagram. them in the house and get them deprogrammed or something. <laughs> Who's your least favorite son? Well, <laughs> it changes most days, right? Depends Isn't... on what of a fuck face each one is being. Yeah, well, you probably hate them for all different reasons. Yeah. Mostly because they're around <laughs> when you're trying to fuck all the time. <laughs> you're a horny guy. I don't even yawn around you. <laughs> You're right not to Three boys Yeah Who would have thought they worked, eh? is the oldest Yeah, yeah 13, 11, and almost 7 Have you have They you are had, They're good They're you, good kids Have they're they ever right. tried to fucking take the old man out in the front lawn? No, no No one's ever pulled a heavy with you around the house? No. Well, I'll no. talk to them about that No, no go, Listen, yeah, see, as that's three what... of you guys can take them 
all together? No, they're they're too. Ah, uh, yeah, you've already thought about this. You go, well, you have to when you're a father. You got to look at your sons and go, go. I might have to fight you. One yeah, day one day I'm gonna have to drop all three of you, and you know, it's not today though. That's why I'm out of the house. What's uh, any of them interested in comedy? Or? My dead body. No, huh? I said, don't you? If I ever catch you near a comedy club, you're out of the house. <laughs> you're finished. Be a drummer or something respectable. <laughs> Tambourine player. <laughs> Yeah, anything homeless, you know, like but anything. It's very well. The problem is they're funny. They are funny. Yeah, I mean they're well, funny. they don't have and a the, choice. And if the you middle had three one, yeah, they're hilarious. Sons, you'd burn one of them. That's right. Well, yeah. <laughs> and the the middle one's the real writer. I actually do a bit of his on on stage. Uh huh. Gets the biggest laughs, little fucker. He writes better jokes than me. Yeah, he's got Shit a unique bag. perspective because he's yeah. new. Wait till fucking life gets to him. That's see what right. He's right and he's so finished. I'm eating these cigarette butts out of a dead guy's <laughs> mouth. And I, I looked and I, I'm my father. I'm my goddamn father. <laughs> it happens to all of us, buddy. Oh, why didn't they take after their brilliant, beautiful mother? They take after me. Shit all of them? Bag huts. Of course. Who has the most uh, physical... Uh, uh, None. Like, look at like me. They're all at you? No, no. Physically, they're all completely different. I've got, like, a redhead, a blonde with blue eyes, and then, like, a the little redhead? brunette. Yeah, well, he's got, like, long... Fair. Like, she's fair, and but her brothers are both, like, flaming classic Irish red. But he has more, like, wavy copper. Oh, it's amazing. I'm like, why? why, why I get this? I get this bold bullshit going on, have... and he's got this wavy, beautiful locks yeah. of hair. Uh, Don't worry. We all finish at the finish line. Bullshit. He's fucked. Well, that's what I said. Take a good hard look, son. Yeah. This is what's coming. You're going to have a monkey ass for the top of your head, so <laughs> deal with it, faggot. <laughs> Slap Boy, look at this. See, I don't know. You can see this. I've got, I'm have got. i bald on the top. And see this one little spot here? Uh-huh. Well, I used to have a cowlick as a kid, and it's because this is a birthmark. So guess what? What the fuck? Your glasses just popped the lens yeah. out. Oh, because you have you lost your... Yeah. yeah. So I've got this little spot on top of my head. Well, guess what? That's going to be there forever because it's a birthmark. Uh, so I'm going to look like a giant goddamn cartoon baby when I'm gold and completely bald. Just uh, spray paint it. I need your sponsors. I keep that thing get shaved. Get that head blade, yeah. Keep Polish, it down. Get it down to the hardwood. Fuck my glasses. For fuck I'm not going to do that. Look at this. Look at you. You can't even see. <laughs> look at you. I've lost all my vision uh, from my hand back. You can't see anything. Well, I can. Well, I just choose not to look anybody in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> You should just get them removed. Uh, put in a couple cyborg guys. Slayers coming to Toronto. Is that right? Yeah. You know those guys, though, right? Uh, yeah, I've done I've done interviews with them, and and we've uh, we've talked. You hung there. out though. I, yeah, yeah. We've, I've hung out with Slayer with Jeff Hennerman. Everybody. And that's your with who? Uh, the guitar player. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider oh, bite. Oh shit! Of course. Yeah. I forgot that's about that. That's what happened to Frosty on his arm. Spider bite. And he had cancer. I thought it was a spider bite. No, he... Well, no, oh, it was scan- oh. Yeah, he got cancer and they had to dig a whole shit out of his arm because oh. he's frosty. And everything, anything that's bad's going to happen. It's going to happen to frosty. ice cream scoop at the side of his bed just to <laughs> chuck out clams. Um, he saved it from his dicky D days. I'm going to go see some heavy bands while I'm here. What are you going to see? Street pigs? Nothing, yeah. There's some hot women in this town. I wouldn't know about that. I saw that bum pissing in his mouth. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I was rubbing his shoulders, and every time I tickled you his You were ear, rubbing something, and it weren't <laughs> shoulders, bud. Queen Street's a fucking nightmare. It's like District 9 down there. <laughs> the no streets prawns. are ripped up. No prawns. Everyone's got an open sore on their face. Yeah, sure. I've got one now from hanging out with you the afternoon. <laughs> Ugh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> but uh, you're here till Sunday. We're going to have some fun. You bet. Where can, uh, where can people find you online? Um, follow me on Twitter, Mr. Dave Hudson. I post funny shit. Yeah. And that's it, really. And then once a year, I leave the house and do comedy. I'm the ultimate hobbyist. I have well, a wife that takes care of me. I don't have to do this shit. I, I, it's I, just for a vacation. I get away from my goddamn kids for a week. <laughs> some comedy is a quiet. front. You're down to the fucking brass rail. Get some stripper <laughs> putting shit stains on your white shirt. That happened to somebody. Ooh, what? A friend of mine told me that Manolis. he was at a, a bachelor party at a strip club. And there was a lot of black light in there. And I guess he went to the VIP room, came back, oh. and the stripper had run a shit stain right down oh. the front of his shirt from grinding out her beaver. Gave him a brown tie with barley Did in it. Did he have to pay extra? Oh, when he told his wife what tipped, the stain was from. I would have tipped her heart. Yeah. Was, oh, I was hanging out with Jason. Oh, okay. That's why I got shit on my chest. <laughs> He's yeah, not I really... woke up. He took a dump on me. We had Taco Bell. He's, the hugs are really intense. 
<laughs> he gets nervous. You ever been sprayed by a skunk? Well, he does this with his ass. Yeah, there's something wrong with his bowels. I don't know, honey. Well, on that note. We're going to get him a hospital. <laughs> on that. It's been a, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I got to go I got to go take a dump before my show. Yeah, so I do it. Go. Do it. And uh, it's always good to see you, Dave. We're going to hang out this weekend. Always. I'm glad this you're in town. This has been a super treat. It's been a long time coming, and uh, we're, we're gonna, uh, you're going to remind yourself why you haven't seen me. Oh, and if this is up for tonight, you can go to the Underground tonight. Check us out at the Underground at the, after the show. That's right. It's the 10th anniversary of the Underground. 10th anniversary at the Underground on Queen Street, Queen and Broadview. Yeah. Uh, go to come to the underground tonight. It's going to be packed. It'll be packed. Stars. It'll be crazy. It's yeah. going to be mental. So nine o'clock at the comedy underground. Yeah, it starts between. at nine. So my show's done at ten. Come see Absolute, and then uh, underground afterwards. Yeah, go check it out. I'm in Vaughn uh, Yuck Yucks this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday, and then Toronto during the film festival, and oh, then yeah. like Mississauga and so on and so forth. Oh, uh, check out my Instagram. I'm pretty up to date on that uh, regularly. Uh, Jason Rouse 666, Twitter Jason Rouse 666, and go fuck yourself. Hail Satan. Don't kiss me on the mouth. Don't ask if you're hurting me. And if you hear the safe word, stop what you're doing immediately. Do you have pantyhose? <laughs>